So why do you think, Lisa, that Canada is lagging behind in electing women? I know this is going to sound strange, um, but I think it's about the fact that women can choose not to go into politics. Um, one of the great things that the feminist organization gave to us and fought for us, and when I say us, I mean my generation, is the ability to choose. I chose to go to law school. I chose to do my master's. I was not stopped. I chose to go into politics. I was not stopped. Um, women are just making the choice. My age, they're just making the choice not to get involved. They've got Hi. too much. They have busy lives. They've got things going on. They're focused on their career. They're focused on their, their children. You know, leaving your career in your 40s to pursue uh, eight to 10 years of political life, if you're lucky, can be really jarring on your ability to save for your retirement and, and get through life and put your kids through university if you choose to have kids, those kinds of things. So I think it's, um, I think sometimes women make the choice to do it after the kids are grown up. Uh, and that's when they're coming into politics. Um, but it's really rare that you're going to see somebody choose in their 40s, in their late 30s, with kids at home to enter into politics just because I don't think they see the benefit and I think they see nothing but downside. Well, how do you, how do you get more women into politics then? I mean, we can't, we can't rope them up and force yeah. them in, right? Well, you should. No, that, <laughs> no and I think that's, I think someone like the women who sit in the House have to say that, that it's, you just can't sit back and complain that there's not enough women in politics. We need you to put your name on the ballot. You need to take that leap of faith. You need to stop being risk averse. You have the skills. You should be here. Um, begging you to come and, and making it easier to come, uh, I understand, but it's still, they have to take the choice and I'm asking you to choose something difficult and it is difficult to leave home and it is difficult to be in the limelight and it is difficult to work 17 hours a day and then just be told that you don't do enough for your community but those are it's worth it to have you at the table it's worth it to have you in Ottawa and you have to do it and it is an obligation think about all those women who when they're fighting for our rights to vote or our rights to um, not have to quit work as a teacher because you ended up getting married or you were pregnant those women sacrificed a lot, and if we want to have women in politics, sacrifices have to be made, and they have to enter politics. And I, that's how I view it. It's, as, it's pretty as simple as that. Um, and, you know, it's, it's our own individual responsibility to run and try to make the change, instead of complaining and comparing ourselves to other countries that really, comparing ourselves to Afghanistan, where women really don't have any rights, and we're fighting a war over there to make sure girls can go to school, I think that's a false analogy. I think the reason why we don't have as many women is because, quite frankly, we have the choice to not have to do it. Um, but I'm asking women to do it because we need you.